Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. The expression presented will be part of our topic. Topic is evaluation of algebraic expressions, and the expression a while ago will be evaluated with this video presentation. But let's start knowing about algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is composed of variables, constants, and operations like this: 3x plus 5y and 5a minus 7b plus 2. C. So, alin ba dyan ang tinatawag nating variables? And let us try to see. Okay, in the first expression, it is x, y. And in the second expression, it is a, b, and c. How about the constants? Okay, with this example again, then we have 3 pi, 5, 7, and Two, it is the number beside the variables. And that is what we call the constant. Pwede rin yung walang kalapit na variables. And obviously, when we talk of the operation, it is addition here, subtraction here, at may isa pang addition. At pag magkalapit yung constant or number and variables, ibig sabihin yan, multiply. Like this, this one, and the other two. Okay? So, if you have the numerical value of the variables like x, y, a, b, and c, kapag nilagyan natin yung numerical value, then that's the time that you can evaluate an algebraic expression. So, let's start with an example. Let us consider that we're about to evaluate 3x plus 5y and xy minus 2xy if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to negative 3. Dalawa yung isosolve natin. Isang 3x plus 5y at saka isang xy minus 2x twice. So, unahin natin ang 3x plus 5y. Okay, the process when we evaluate an algebraic expression is just go with the process of substitution. Then, after substitution, you just work on with perform the indicated operation. So, let us apply that. So, papalitan natin si x at si y. Si x ay 4 at si y ay negative 3. Kaya magiging 3 times 4 plus 5 times negative 3. Like this. Then, perform the indicated operation. 3 times 4 and 5 times negative 3. So, we arrive with this because 3 times 4 is 12 and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Then, 12 minus 15 is negative 3. Therefore, 3x plus 5y is equal to negative 3 when x is 4 and y is negative 3. How about the other one? xy minus 2xy. So, same value of x which is 4 and y which is negative 3. We substitute it and we arrive with this. This is 4 times negative 3 minus 2 times 4 times negative 3. Ito yun. Then, perform the operation. 4 times negative 3. Then, pwede na rin itong negative 2 times 4 times negative 3. We arrive with this. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And this is negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. And perform the operation. 12 bang sagot. Therefore, xy minus 2xy is equal to 12 when x is 4 and y is negative 3. Let's start another example. Evil way, a squared minus 3a plus 7 and ab squared minus a squared b plus ab if a is negative 1 and b is equal to negative 2. So, let's start knowing the first one. Unahin natin isolve itong a squared minus 3a plus 7. 
The process is the same with the first two examples, substitution, then perform the indicated operation. Papalitan natin ng A at saka yung A na to ng negative 1. We have this. So we have negative A squared minus 3 times negative 1 plus 7. Heto yon. Okay, then after that, Siyempre, we simplify with this exponent, negative 1 to the second. Ibig sabihin, dalawang negative 1 ito times sa sarili. Negative 1 times negative 1, that's 1. Then, negative 3 times negative 1, that's 3. Okay, therefore, yan ay 1 plus 3 plus 7. This is equal to 1, this is equal to positive 3, and plus 7. And 1 plus 3 plus 7 is equal to 11. Therefore, a squared minus 3a plus 7 is equal to 11 when a is negative 1. Okay, proceed with the next. Ito na tayo, ab squared minus a squared b plus ab. So, we have this. So, isubstitute tuloy natin si ab, si a ay negative 1 at si b ay negative 2. Dito yon, dito din, at saka doon. Then, we have that. Negative 1 times negative 2 is squared minus negative 1 is squared times negative 2 plus negative 1 times negative 2. Obviously, ito ay, pag in-squared mo to, unahin natin itong may exponent, magiging 4 times negative 1, negative 4. Ito naman na sa loob muna nito ang unahin natin. Ito uli, magiging 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 times ito, isama na natin, kaya magiging positive. The negative times negative, that will be positive. We have that. Balikan natin. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 1, negative 4. Ito naman, negative 1 squared is positive 1 times negative 1, uh, times negative 2 is negative 2. Ay may negative doon, kinumbay na siya, kaya naging positive. The negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 2. And negative 4 plus 2 plus 2, that will be equal to 0. That's all, come out of class. God bless us.